Real lover Tiffany. She says, me and my boyfriend have been together for two months. I started noticing he had less and less time for me a few weeks ago. We talked about it and he said that he can commit to talking for one hour a day with me. I don't feel like that's enough, but I want to know if you think I'm asking for too much or if I'm right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. This is going to be interesting today, y'all. I know some people are going to disagree, agree with me. We shall see. But Tiffany, I appreciate your question. If you've been listening, watching, and you have a question of your own that you want me to address in a future vid, feel free to go over to righttorowlove.com slash question and submit it over there. And I'll be happy to address it in a future vid. But yo, let's get into Tiffany's question. Oh my goodness. This is the communication question. Everybody know how important communication is in a relationship, right? I'm not even going to beat around the bush, Tiffany. I'm going to come out direct and then we're going to just, we're going to fire off from there, right? So if this man told you that he can commit to talking to you for at least one hour every single day, seven days a week, seven hours a week minimum, and you're like, I want him to spend more time. That's not enough time. You want to know whether or not you're asking for too much. I personally, me personally, me, just this guy right here. I think you are. I think you are asking for too much. And the reason why I say that is because communication is vitally important in a relationship. But you got to also understand the fact that there are not couples that talk that much. Like I, I was shocked. I've had conversations on previous podcasts with married couples and e including those who are coaches and counselors to married couples. And I was shocked when they gave me the actual statistics for how frequently married couples talk. Yo, sis, this is actually more than them. Almost double the amount that actual married couples are talking. So if a man is willing to spend seven hours a week minimum having quality time and conversation with you, that's truly a blessing. You, you, you really getting something that a lot of people, including married women, are not getting, right? So let's dive into this. First and foremost, sis, you got to understand that this man got a life. This man has other priorities. And this is the key thing especially those that come before you. You got to understand you're not going to be a man's number one priority. And if you think you are and you think you should, then sis, I just want to encourage you to take a step back and look at things differently. You think or you may think that you want a man that makes you his number one priority. But sis, you really don't. What you want is a man that is going to respect you, that is going to appreciate you, that's going to spend time with you. But guess what, sis? You don't want a man that has the only thing going on for him in his life is you. Nor do you want to be in a position where you want to be the only thing that a person is thinking about. They number one priority like that. That's a lot of pressure, sis. And it's like, why? Why you want all that pressure on you? Like, you don't want a person to focus that much on you. Like, we want a person to give us affection, love, attention, all of that. But being number one, being the thing that that person think about the most and, you know, is the only thing they concerned about everything else, they just throwing away. Like, yo, that's a crazy situation to be in. It may sound beautiful, but <laughs> it has a flip side to it. And you might be want to be careful. So, listen, you want a man with purpose. You want a man that's active. You want a man that has a productive life, not just a busy life, but a productive life. He's about his business. He's about the father's business. He's about his kingdom business, right? This man is doing the things that he needs to do and what he was put on this earth to fulfill and do, right? You want a man that is going to be there for you at the right times. That's the thing. You want a man who's going to be there for you at the right time, who's committed to you, but at the same time, you're not his whole world. Everything doesn't revolve around you, right? That that's It may sound good, but I promise you, that's not what you want, right? So like I mentioned before, Tiffany and any other women that are in a situation like this, where a man is like, yo, I can give you an hour at least every day. And, and that's the way I'm reading it is an hour at least. I'm not saying like the man is like, all right, baby, we on a timer, right? I'm going to set the timer for 60 seconds. I mean, excuse me, 60 minutes. Once it starts, that's it, baby. Once that timer go off, I'm, I'm cutting you off. It's like a business call. Like I'm assuming it's not like that. It's just like, yo, babe, I can carve out an hour at minimum every single day for us to chop it up. 
I think that that is something, once again, that a lot of women are not experiencing. And for you to have a man that is willing to make that type of commitment, especially verbally, man, like that says a lot with regards to how committed he is to you and the communication. Like I've mentioned this on previous podcasts that I tried to do the long distance thing in a relationship a long time ago. And one of the reasons why we broke up, I broke a whole promise to her that I wouldn't break up over the phone and all that type of stuff. And the reason why I did it is because she couldn't commit to talking one day. Like, and, and it wasn't even a length of time. It was just like, yo, we can't, she can't, she couldn't even commit to just saying, yo, at least once a week, we're going to hop on the phone and talk. And we're in a long distance relationship. To me, that was unacceptable. That's when it's like, yo, I can't be with you. I Like I may talk to you this week or I may not. But sis, you got a man that's like, yo, every single day, I'm going to pick up the phone and we're going to talk. I'm going to pick up my phone and we're going to FaceTime and we're going to talk. Or I'm going to come over and we're going to talk. Like that that's a lot that that man is committing to. And I, I believe that if you want more than that, you're asking for too much. And I would just put out this caution, sis, you know, don't mistake your blessing for a curse. And if you do do so at your own risk, you know, you got to count the cost of, you know, trying to apply that type of pressure on a man and saying, yo, that ain't enough. I want more like, yo, I think that what he is offering you is, is a substantial amount of time and attention. There are going to be some people that disagree by all means. Get in the comments. Let me know why you don't agree. And if you do think that what she's asking for is too much, what this man is giving is, you know, solid, then let us know. Give us your two cents. Share some additional insights that you may have or want to share with Tiffany in the comments. But, yo, that's my take on it, Tiffany and any other ladies in a situation like that. I hope it's helpful. I want to give you the opportunity. If you have a question of your own that you want to get answered, just like Tiffany did, all you got to do is head over to right to real love dot com slash question. Submit your question and I'll be happy to answer it in a future video. Until then, I love y'all and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay blessed, live and love life. Thank God. Deuces.